My friends, hello there. I hope you're doing well and enjoying your weekend, enjoying perhaps even the week whenever you're looking at this video and watching this. I want to encourage you. I want to serve you and use this session together to give you a little bit of, as I call it, a shot of inspiration and, and drop kind of the knowledge on you. As you know, I'm, I'm not a big advocate of joking around and I'm definitely a positive guy and optimistic guy, but I want to make your time valuable. There is so much content on YouTube, so much to watch. And this is why I a lot focus on mental health and, and really combined with physical health and, and really in overall personal development, because I noticed in my life that from a big chunk where I am today, I can give it to thanks to my focus on personal development. And a lot of this can come also with, a, I would say, a baggage because today's topic is about imposter syndrome and anxiety and fear and a lot of these challenging topics that are there. I think we are, again, in turbulent times. We are post-pandemic. That doesn't mean we are fully out, but... Perhaps we get sick more often because we haven't gotten sick so oft, uh, so often in the last two years. But it means that we are in turbulent times because of the downgrade or downshift in economy. And I want you, I want to encourage you. I want to really bring this home for you and give you this sense of urgency and perhaps even sense of positivity that you can figure it out. Even if you know you stop watching right now, I want you to go out there today and be grateful. Be grateful where you are at, because these three points I want to share with you today, it's really just a basics and foundation of what can you use in daily life. Because like yourself, like myself, we face different pressure situations where we need to step up, where we need to just get cracking, where we need to go out there and try our best, right? And we occasionally and often try to raise our game but sometimes we just go through the motions and we are we already have so much on us that you know the pressure comes from different sides and in different forms and over a period of time if we are going at it every day and every day we might a little bit be discouraged we might be you know tired burned out so if you if it sounds like you, you know, you come home after dinner um, or not even before dinner and, and then, you know, you already feel like, you know, another shift with your family, another time with your family, it's already too much. This is probably for you. You need to pause. You need to learn to pause, recognizing hardship and, and really dial it down for yourself. So the first point I have for you guys today, and I see you might not see it, it's inspect. So um, I wrote it actually very nicely, <laughs> but uh, read it out. It's inspect and self and relationships. Big part how we go around our day and why we might feel the imposter syndrome um, and a way of comparing ourselves with other and being an imposter meaning you know, you feel like you're not good enough and everything you do, you're coming up too short. And oftentimes it can be because you already have too much on your shoulders because you're stretching, but often it can be just a way to protect ourselves because we are already stressed out. And I want you to really inspect in this stage where you're at, where you're going and how you're taking care of yourself. And this is so important. This is why I put the self time. I know this might sound a little bit selfish because you're like, hey, Matteo, I have already so much on my shoulders. Why should I have even more self time? I don't have time for that. Um, that's why I want you to look at a holistic, holistically at your life and see where you're at, where you could spend a little bit more time with yourself. That means maybe five minutes here, five minutes in the evening, evaluating where you're going. And why I'm saying it, because I noticed in my life over the last weeks and months that really, you know, we can pressure ourselves from big uh, sides and from big angles to, to go to the next level because we see that people around us are doing it and we don't want to be left behind. So do it at your own pace. And also the relationships, 
you're having, you know, choose them carefully. Maybe you need to slow down. Maybe you take it easy, pick up a book, read a little bit, something nice and do things that you actually love, not because you think you have to do it to earn money or, you know, whatever the cost can be, but just do it because you enjoy it. The second point I want you to really focus on, and again, I will put it in front here, reveal the missing skill and the missing piece. And I put there a little bit in bullet point, missing piece, you know, uh, skill and run more laps. So what I mean with this is that every stage you're at will require new skills. And this is the hard part because we constantly need to evolve. And at some point it might feel like it becomes harder to acquire new skills because you already rely a lot on your experience and on things you've done in your life, which brings a lot of security and confidence. But on the, on the other hand, it might be like you might be tempted not to take it, you know, not study up further, not take those courses. And I want you to really also look at the other piece, which is running more labs sometimes. And this is a good point for me. I, I like to talk about this because I see it in my life and I see a lot of people I talk to uh, beating yourself up because you're not good enough or because you might feel like an imposter because you're not there yet. It's, it's a big point in our society because it's all this notion, bigger, better, faster, better. It's old notion, but this some this is a notion that might actually cause a lot of people to burn down, doubt themselves, feel like an imposter because they don't have the Ferrari yet, the paycheck that you know their boss have, whatever that is. I want you to just think about it really seriously and think you know what is important in life. Is it you know the paycheck? Of course, to some extent, but perhaps even more, how kind you are good human you are, that you are integrous with who you are, and that perhaps you need to run more laps and being honest about where you're at with your skills. And perhaps that, you know, the people you compare yourself with has, you know, maybe six, seven years ahead of you, or maybe even more. Uh, and if that's been the coin for your life for the last decade or more, then obviously you are putting yourself in a hard situation because you need, you're lacking 10 years, 20 years from your experience to build it up. So focus on that. And the last point, guys, I want you to focus on taking action. And again, it's a little bit blurry. I apologize for that. And I focus on there is humanity. A lot of times in these type of situations, whether that's economic downshift, pandemic, we focus a lot on ourselves. And perhaps for those out there who have kids, it's a different situation. I just had friends over today with their two kids and, and you know, lately I'm exposed to that a little more and I see how different it is when you hang out with people who have kids and how different they think from the time when you're single when um, or maybe as a couple you you know travel and you pursue your goals so you do what inspires you and you always think I can do anything I want and this is true but often it also that maybe the challenge is that you're so focused on yourself that you might be too much in your head and i want you to really as we come back to the imposter syndrome anxiety fear to take small calculated action that means you know maybe design your own learning curriculum say you know what i'm not gonna be any more afraid that people outrun me outpace me that i'm not sufficient let me learn one step at, at a time. Let me learn every Sunday for 20 minutes, 15 minutes, or every day, you know, that particular skill so that I can really become sufficient and that I can really become better. That I can really start, you know, learning where things are. And, and I honestly think this is such an underrated area because we are often pressured into situations. We need to learn to operate tools. If we learn, you know, if we work in enterprise type of companies, Oftentimes they work with big systems, ERP systems, uh, maybe HR systems, which we are unfamiliar with. A lot of internal documentation that we need to find. And that already creates this internal anxiety and pressure. And sometimes taking, you know, the food from the gas and saying, okay, where am I at? And I learned this from years back from actually my favorite sales lady, Jill Conrath, and she wrote many books. And one in one of the particular, I think, online blog that I was reading from her, she was talking about his method and learning method, you know, dumping, chunking and sequencing, where she says, you know, 
first we need to kind of take everything and dump it then look you know can we cluster it and then how do i sequence it and it learned it helped me a lot i don't always use it and i'm returning to this recently and it's just reminding me at how different stages we have in our lives you know sometimes we just chase the knowledge and we chase the thrill and we chase just doing the different things but eventually a life gently navigates us to where we need to be not where we want to be to to you know shine at our best and and i think this is the beauty because like you like your neighbor like your family like maybe your gym trainer everybody has lots of potential a lot and you can manage a lot of things there are serial masters out there if you're looking at golf for example or mba um nba and you know michael jordan or uh, hockey or a lot of the olympic games a lot of people you know training years to be at that level and then you get there and then it's it can be hard there is also you know if you think about a nasa uh, astronauts um, a lot of them might have a hard time when they train years to go to space and then you know they see the vastness of our universe and coming back and they lose purpose. And I think this is very, and I mean, this is obviously extreme example because probably 90% of people don't go to space. However, the challenge is with nowadays in our generation and our society that we get bored so easily because with the huge stream of information overwhelms us and confuses us. And we became passive consumers. We inhale the knowledge but it might be stored somewhere inside and over a period of time it just you know lies there like these be big chunks of rocks that just float in space and need to be chucked or chunked down you know need to be sorted so i encourage you as we are at, still at the first quarter of the year there is so much potential maybe you wanted to do that workout maybe you wanted to build that um you know program maybe you wanted to pick that course maybe you wanted to shoot uh, those you know videos for that course maybe you wanted to find a spouse but you were you was afraid uh, you thought you were not enough to go out there and to date again whatever it is i want to encourage you to learn to grow again you are special and you are miraculous and this is why i'm doing these videos because i know it might reach one person might reach million it might reach nobody but maybe in a couple of years down the road somebody gonna pick it up on their road and it will speak to them and i want you to think like that i want you to with the last point taking action think about humanity a lot of times in our life why we are so stuck in our thinking is because we think about ourselves because we didn't free ourselves from the chain of the minds. And as Dr. Joe Dispenza eloquently talks about, when our body becomes the carrier of the signal, it's not anymore our mind, it's our body that becomes the carrier of the signal, the stress. When, you know, 10 in the morning you are in the traffic and one day you are not there and at 10 in the morning you're wondering why you're stressed. It's because, you know, your body doesn't know different. It knows patterns, it knows, knows repetitions. And this is why I encourage you this year to really sort your stuff, sort yourself out, sort yourself for the next level. I know a lot of companies are preparing for their things to slow down. That means you need to prepare for things again, maybe go back to the foundations, go back to the events, you know, on, organize your online marketing, organize your sales, organize your team, organize your leadership, do their trainings, do those courses, you know, do the appraisals do the salary rounds, whatever that is, but go back to the basics and the foundation so that you can really appreciate who you are as human being. And sometimes it means stepping from the gas, looking at where you're driving, seeing, you know, going to the nearest station um, to repair your car, to fix the tires, put back the petrol, maybe paint it again, whatever you need to do, or maybe sell the car and buy a new one. Whatever it is, guys, do you and do it with grace, do it with honesty and do it with integrity. 
I hope this served you. Please share it with your loved ones. Share it with somebody you know. Um, I I share this. I was a little had a cold this week, so you can probably hear it in my voice. I have a little bit of a congestion, but I still decided to shoot this for you because I know that you know hardship is exactly what people are inspired by when we do things when we don't want and we do it because we know that people need to hear people need to hear your voice and that's why sometimes you need to go back first to fill in the petrol fill in yourself with nutrition good goodness listening to something inspirational but then you need to take action so think about inspecting where you at thinking about you know recognizing whether you're missing some skill you know what are the missing pieces and then really take action that's it. So as I always say, radiate, you know, health, or you really need to come back to the energy. So that's fitness and all these different things. And I don't coach anymore on these things, but just want to encourage you, look at YouTube, look at, you know, Chris Heria, look at Chris Hemsworth, or look at those greats, you know, bodybuilders. Um, not everybody's great, but, you know, or seek out somebody in your town who's nutritionist, do those tests and figure out where you're at with your physique. Then really, you know, focus on building this internal strength, which is your mind. Challenge it, you know, play some brain games, do something for you, learn, pick up a book, and, and then really read and lead an inspirational life. That means do something that actually brings yourself to the next level. So until the next time, stay legendary. And really thank you for being here, listening to my mumbling and rumbling. And I hope you picked some inspiration from this. Until the next time, stay awesome. Bye.